transformed. And, and here's the thing about a cycle. It will be repeated. That's what it's about. Time is cyclical. And so if you don't deal with certain patterns within you, those patterns repeat. Same way with nations, whatever nation you're in. But here's the thing you want to understand also about a cycle. It is phenomenologically empowered supernaturally. There is a supernatural force attached to what creates that cycle within you. That supernatural force has to be addressed. It has to be disconnected and because you do not want the same series of events that were timed in one generation to happen in the next generation. Now, let me show you this. Let's look at a cycle this way. He's alpha. He's omega. He knows when something begins, when it comes to birth, how it becomes accountable, how it has to come into rebirth, how hope has to come, how we have to mature in faith. This is your life cycle. You come to completion. Let me tell you what Satan wants to do. Some way or another in your life cycle, he has to hit your hope. And knock it out of place. And that's what's going on worldwide right now. He is trying to knock hope out of faith. And if he can knock hope out of faith, he can cause faith not to overcome. I decree right now new cycles are forming. I decree old cycles are breaking. New songs are breaking into and creating new cycles. I decree right now that we are being filled with the Spirit of God and moving in a new way. I declare right now as we worship, as we enter into this next session, you will hear what God's saying to you and you'll move spiritually in with what God is saying to you. Let's welcome Tricia Roselli with a word. Hi, Chuck. Um, this morning I was reading out of uh, Genesis 41 and the portion that jumped out at me was Pharaoh you know, he had these dreams, and it said that he, uh, in verse 5, that he slept again and he dreamed a second time. And that just jumped out at me. And the Lord said to me that, you know, we've been in a time of testing. And, and actually, I really feel like God has been challenging all of our faith. And he, um, the, the Lord said to me, we need to dream again, and we need to dream big. The Lord said to me that there have been many disappointments, especially during this time of isolation. And, and you know, when you read on in this portion of scripture, Joseph was in prison. And Joseph, uh, talk about being isolated. Joseph was in prison for 12 or 13 years. And, and the cupbearer remembered that Joseph interpreted dreams. And he called him out to interpret the dream. And we know that he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams. And we also know that he then became governor. And I feel like what the Lord is saying, there are the suddenlies of the Lord are coming. And he brought to my mind uh, uh, Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. And I want to read it to you, the Amplified. And it says here, the Lord replied, look among the nations and see, be utterly astonished, be utterly amazed and wonder. He said, for I'm doing something in your days that you wouldn't believe it even if I told you. And, and that's what the Lord was saying to me, dream big. I want to encourage you to, to set your sights on the, on the Lord and, and what the word of God says, that with God, nothing's impossible. He says in Genesis, is my arm too short that it can't save? You know, let's put it this way, that it can't deliver, that it can't recover all of your losses. So I just want to encourage you with that word to dream big, dream again. Don't look at it from the, 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 don't listen to the voice of the enemy. Listen to what the spirit of the Lord is saying to you. Be utterly amazed, be utterly astonished. And, and just that you're, you know, have your expectation in the Lord that he is releasing the suddenlies of the Lord. We're coming upon Pentecost and I am dreaming big. I have great expectations of the suddenlies, the supernatural presence and power of God that we will be so astonished and amazed that we wouldn't even believed it, that, that this was possible for us to be alive, the privilege for us to be alive in this 
day and age and to experience what we're going to experience. So I just want to encourage you with that and um, thank you. See, this month is about breaking out of a shell. You heard Marty prophesy about the breaker going before you. I'll be teaching on the breaker uh, in coming days that will help us understand how to recognize the breaker and how to move forward. But let me show you a couple more things that will help you as this is going on in you to come into the full fullness of the cycle that God has for you. Now, remember, there's the cycle of life, and then remember what the enemy wants to do. He wants to knock your hope out. Trisha could not have said better what God was saying to her than to show us that. And once he does that, he creates an, a cycle in your life that has destruction, that has despair in it, that has a, a lack built into it, that has infirmity in it. And so we have to break out of this. Now, here's the way you are made to be. You, this is what you look like. You're connected to Father God. He is the Father of your spirit. And with the Father of your spirit, He becomes the one who illuminates and fills, the Holy Spirit fills you. Well, that was meant for you to break through and break out. Out. He wants to break out of you. He wants to come and break through you. And so the word breaker is important for us to get because it's actually a pay word. It parats. And with that, it becomes key that we understand we're in a season whether, whether we're uh, uh, breaking abroad and enlarging or a breach is occurring. You're in a season where you're dispersing an increase or you're decreasing. I want you to decree right now that as you speak, your heart, your blood, your spirit, your conscience is coming alive. As you're hearing this and all of a sudden his glory is beginning to break out of you. That becomes so important. New songs and sounds break old cycles. So that becomes key to break you into the blessing cycle. So I decree right now as we enter into this portion of the breaker coming. And we've got, we've got uh, key people that have are here to minister to us during this time. We have Word Alive that they're decreeing breakthrough. Steve Swanson's decreeing God is faithful to come through you. Ty Bello is decreeing the breaking of a new day. And then Vincent and Abigail Hardy with their uh, Zion uh, project are decreeing that we are coming through and the sound is breaking us through. So I want us to enter in and I decree right now, break out of you that the Spirit of God is breaking out of you, the glory of God is breaking out of you, and you are breaking out to the right and the left and increasing.